Oh, shit. They should be scoring here, Panthers, I think. Should be scoring. Yep, exactly. Yep. There you go. Season 2016 for the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs ended with a whimper. I, like many Bulldogs fans, was disappointed and fed up with the team, and in particular, the coach. The real question is, though, could I have done any better? Well, there's only one way to find out. Rugby League Team Manager. We will go back to the start of Season 2016, and if everything goes to plan, I will take the Bulldogs to the promised land. I will bring a premiership home to Belmore. Thank you everybody for attending the press conference. I'll be now taking your questions. You sit here as the new coach of the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. How do you feel about being younger than most of the players at the club? Um, I mean, that, that's a valid question. Um, I am younger than most of the players and... I suppose we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it in terms of how the players deal, how I deal with the players. But I mean, maybe that might be a good thing. Maybe I'll get along better with the players than, than some of the past coaches. Um, you know, maybe having an old guy, they don't really understand the youngins. And um, I'd like to think I understand the youngins. And, you know, it should be okay. It should be okay. Yep. The Bulldogs have been quite disappointing as of late. Is there anything you want to change immediately? Uh, I mean, immediately, obviously, we want to win more games. That's... That's the goal. Uh, that's the goal of the league. Everyone wants to. Everyone wants to win that premiership. So hopefully, I can change that. Hopefully, I can change that. Actually, win us a premiership. That'd be a be a welcome change. As a Bulldog supporter for all my life, we haven't won enough, and um, I think it all starts. Our defence has been pretty good at times, but we need to get our attack sorted. We need to get our attack sorted real fast, and we've got the place to do it as well. So I think it's an easy fix. Des Hazel saw Tony Williams a few years ago, and he has failed to live up to the hype. Have you got anything to say about T-Rex? Tony Williams. That sack of shit. I don't know what I'll do with him. I don't know what I'll do with him. Um, who knows, maybe he'll pull his finger out, maybe he won't. Probably not. Uh, to be honest with you, Tony, I want you to look me, look me right in the eyes here. Right in the eyes. I will be trying to sell you, just to let you know. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of Tony Williams, and... Uh, he will definitely be leaving at some point. Whether it's this season, I don't know. But I would like to see him gone from the club. Biggest flop I've ever seen. Ever. 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 Des Hasler couldn't manage to win a comp with the Bulldogs, but he did manage to make the eight every year and reach two grand finals. What would you consider a success in your first season? Um... I suppose what I define as success and what you define as success might be two different things. I'm not sure exactly what the media wants from me. I'm assuming they'll probably think, well, if Des has it, they think he's success because he lost two grand finals and made the eight every year without make it, like, letting the team sort of look any better year by year. I mean, if that's a success, well, then I, I should be okay. I should be good to go. Um, I'll be quite disappointed if we don't win a premiership this year. I think that's that's the benchmark. That's what we want. We want a premiership, and I'm not going to settle for less. I'll just say that much. It's no secret the Bulldogs' attack is lacklustre. How do you plan on fixing this? Quite simply, less forward play. Um, I mean, we've got some great forwards. We've got James Graham, Aiden Tolman, Sam Casiano, not Tony Williams. We've got Josh Jackson. We've got a lot of quality forwards. Clemmer as well. We've got a lot of quality forwards, but they're doing a little bit too much, in my opinion. I need to let uh, I need to let Josh Reynolds, Moses and Bayer, they're going to beat me halves, and I need to let them I need to let them control the show a little bit more, run the show a bit more, and uh, I think I think we should be good. Pull up Wadi at the back. Obviously, you can't play Sundays, but, I mean, Brett Morris can slot in there and just having the two Morris boys as well. I think we'll be all right this year. I, th I really do think we'll be all right this year in the, attack the attacking department. Wayne Bennett, Craig Bellamy, Des Hasler. F*** Mary Kill. Now, that's the sort of question that I'm after. Those are the hard-hitting questions, and I applaud you for asking me that. Um, wow, I need to actually think about this one. Hmm, Wayne Bennett, Craig Bellamy, Des Hasler. Desi, uh... Well, Wayne Bennett, he's pretty old, so and he has lots of money. Although he did just, mm, I feel like maybe not that faithful, faithful to his partners. So I might kill him. Uh, in terms of who I'd marry, I'd probably go. I'd probably go Craig Bellamy. I'd probably marry him, and I would f Des Hasler. Yes, that, that's my answer. I'm not going to give specific reasons as to why. That's just my answer. You just can't have to do with that. Okay, that's enough of uh, of the questions. I've answered enough. Thank you for coming out, guys. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good season. Strap yourself in, guys. Like and subscribe. Actually, if you could actually like and comment and that sort of stuff, that'd be a, 
I very much appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel as well. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Mr. Luke Almighty. Facebook page is in the description below. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.